can humans actually pass the Van Allen belts? The short answer is yes, we already have. But the long answer is much more interesting, and it explains why the conspiracy exists in the first place. Radiation isn't magic. It follows rules. Intensity, duration, shielding. The danger comes from how long you stay, not simply crossing the zone. Apollo astronauts pass through the belts in about an hour, with only minutes in the most intense regions. NASA plotted their trajectory through the thinnest parts. The spacecraft aluminium hull provided shielding, and the belts themselves were weaker during solar minimum. The result? Exposure far below harmful levels. But here's where the conspiracy took root. People imagine the belts as glowing red bands of instant death, like some sci-fi barrier that fries anything in its path. When NASA released diagrams that looked dramatic, bright colors, high radiation zones, it fed the imagination. Then came the misunderstanding. If the belts are dangerous, how did Apollo get through them? As if danger means impossibility. But Earth is full of dangers. Deep ocean pressure, volcano heat, Antarctic cold. Yet humans work in all these places with planning and protection. The belts aren't unique, they're just misunderstood. And here's the emotional layer. Some people want Apollo to be fake because the idea of humans reaching the moon feels too big, too mythic, too unbelievable for our species. Doubting it feels safer than accepting that we did something extraordinary. But every spacecraft we've launched, from GPS satellites to probes escaping the solar system, proves the belts aren't barriers. They're environments, and environments can be crossed with engineering. The Van Allen belts tell a deeper story. Earth is alive with magnetic power, constantly protecting us from the sun's rage. They're not a shield we can't pass. They're a reminder of the shield that makes life possible here. Humans crossed them before. Humans will cross them again. And the next time we head to the moon or Mars, we'll pass through the same radiation belts that sparked decades of conspiracy, proving once again that science doesn't fear danger. It studies it, plans for it, and moves through it.